I'll never forget it. July the 7th in 2003. What a great day for Australian performers competing at the Tour de France. It was very early in the tour in that year. It was the centenary tour, 2003. 100 years had passed since the very first Tour de France had taken place. And it was Australia Day. I call it Australia Day. Why? Stage one. It was uh, a race that finished in the little town of Sedan. Baton Cook won the stage. He won the sprint. It was a sprint finish. But what made it special was apart from Baton Cook winning the stage, he got himself into the white jersey as the best young rider. On that day as well, climbing the podium, being presented with the yellow jersey, Bradley McGee. On the podium, on that very same day, presented with the green jersey, Robbie McEwen. Head was spinning, I didn't know who to go to first. Robbie, Baden, Brad McKee. And Baden Cook, as a stage winner, up there on the stage. July the 7th, 2003, I'll never forget it. Simply magnificent. The most outstanding day for me in my uh, covering the Tour de France since 1996, no doubt would have to be the day that Cadell Evans rode into Paris on the Champs Elysees with the yellow fleece on his back, the uh, most famous jersey in world sport. The first Australian to win the Tour de France, the first Australian to uh, break through what many Australians regard as the last frontier. Who would have thought an Aussie? wearing yellow in Paris on the Champs-Élysées on that brilliant summer's afternoon. The Tour de France is a magnificent event for many reasons. People watch it for different reasons. People watch it not necessarily for the pushing of pedals and for the sport. They watch it for the scenery. They watch it for the history. They watch it for the culture. They watch it so they can learn more about France. You can turn to a wonderful event on the other side of the world called the Tour de France. Why? It's a form of escapism. The tour is cultural adventure. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.